It's time to do this again. It's time to rank it will be the show games again. We're at, we're at that time of the year. I did this video about a year ago where we ranked and will be the show games and we even ranked and will be the show 22 in the process. About a year later, we're here. We're doing it again. It's time to rank and will be the show games again. And I know you're probably wondering like void the game technically isn't over yet. Well, I will tell you one thing. This game has died so freaking fast. I'm gonna save my ranting for the video that I will make once all of the content for the game is released and it's all said and done, don't you worry. I am disappointed with MLB The Show 23. But today we're gonna be basically talking about MLB The Show games, reliving MLB The Show memories. So if you're here, strap in and make sure to leave your opinions at the door because guess what? I'm right. And you're wrong. All right, let's get into this. Alrighty, here we go. We're on the tier list maker. You know, I have every single game labeled from S, A, B, C to D. Um, you know, actually, we're going to add one more really quick. All right, there we go. All right, starting off with, with the show 07 or 06, I believe, the David Ortiz one. For me, with my Element of the Show experience, all of, I've played, I've gone back and played most of the Element of the Show. When it comes to me playing Element of the Show 06 until about 2009 is where it basically all blends together. Maybe the only thing that's different is graphics, but it pretty much was the same for me when it comes to the games. But right as soon as I'm with the show 10, 11, and all that stuff, that's when, you know, I start to understand some of the shows. All right, so with that being said, we're going to start with the David Ortiz one. I'm just going to start it out at C. I really don't remember the game much. Um, same with the show 07. I'm just going to put it here. I mean, you know, I'm assuming since it's a year newer, we're going to put it up there, you know, a little higher than I'm with the show 08. What? What the f Next, for MLB The Show, we are going to put MLB The Show 08 in a B tier category. I thought MLB The Show 08 was fun to play when I went back to actually try to play it, and, you know, it wasn't too bad. MLB The Show 09, uh, we're going to put it just above MLB The Show 7. I thought it was okay. It wasn't the best game I played. It wasn't the worst game I played. It's just, you know, it existed. MLB The Show 10. This one I played a little bit more. I'm just getting into MLB The Show games. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I'm going to put it at B tier. Here. It wasn't bad. Joe Maurer's first year on the cover. And will be the show 11. This was my childhood and will be the show that I played the absolute crap out of. Um, really, really hard game, no matter what difficulty you're on and like whatever game mode you're playing. Very, very hard, but very challenging. And just for that, just because of the fact that it was actually really fun, graphics were amazing at the time, uh, we're going to put it at A tier. Obviously, there is an S tier, but you know, whatever. I don't really care. We're going to put it at A tier. I don't think it's an S tier game. There are better games out there in the MLB The Show series. I would say it's probably the first MLB The Show I really got into and I really enjoyed it and I loved it. And with the show 12, um, honestly, it's not a bad game. And with the show 12 till about, th you know, and with the show 12 and 13 and 14 all kind of blend together. They're really good games. They're solid. Um, so I'm going to put and with the show 12 at I'm going to put it at B, high B, very teetery, teetering on A, and with the show 13, I'm going to put it at A, and with the show 14, I'm putting it at A, uh, and with the show 14, I believe was the first game on next gen for PS4, um, again, solid game, I loved it, and same with 13, 13 was a great game as well. This game is a lot of fun when it comes to uh, the iconic part of the series, you know, I think this was the first year of, I don't remember if it was Diamond Dynasty, the first year of Diamond Dynasty. Um, but only the show 15, just for the legacy aspect, I'm going to put it A. I'll put it above 13 just because of the aspect. I thought it was kind of the same game as 14 with Diamond Dynasty. Loved it. It was amazing. And I thought it was a fun game to play as well. Plus the iconic intro and the pose of Yasiel Puig. Nice, nice game overall. Now I have more to say about these games. And with the show 16, uh, we're just going to do this back to back, uh, 16 and 17, 17 is better than 16, but they're both S tier games. I mean, 16 literally was probably the most fair gameplay wise I've ever seen out of an MLB show. It really pushed people that were skillful, that they had a lot of success, and also your casual player can have fun with the game. Diamond Dynasty was expanded. It played really well. Diamond Dynasty game, the game mode 
overall just took off. I think Battle Royale's first year with this game, it was awesome. I love 16. 17 basically took what 16 did well, added ball physics to the game, and added to Diamond Dynasty to make Diamond Dynasty the game mode to play and able to show games or go back exactly to how those two games played because it was perfect. If they kept releasing the same game over and over again, I wouldn't have complained because it was a great game. It was awesome, and I loved it. It has a special place in my heart. All right, I'm over to show 18. It goes right there. No, no questions asked. Uh, Diamond Dynasty was overcomplicated. You had the career arcs. The immortal grind was all oh my gosh. If you did not play Emblem of the Show 18 in its heyday, it was bad, okay? It was really, really bad. Like, you had programs on top of programs on top of programs to grind, and you had to basically complete this little baby program, then you go to this program, then this program, then this program, then you get to the immortal grind, and the immortal grind is basically longer than all of the other program grinds that you had to do just to get one card, and it was so, so stupid. It was the worst ever, and on top of that, the gameplay was really, really bad. The ball speed was so slow. It was like you were facing a home run derby pitcher and just hitting bombs all over the place. Power only mattered. It didn't matter if you were on Legend and you had Joey Gallo at the plate. If you used Joey Gallo, you're going to hit home runs. It was stupid. It sucked. And it was one of the worst number of the show games to date. It sucked. Um, and with the show 19, they listened. This was back when SDS really listened to the community and listened to feedback. And with the show 19 had amazing, amazing content, and the gameplay was really good. I thought it was amazing. It was balanced. The It wasn't as good as 16 or 17 gameplay-wise, but it was way, way better. Ball speeds were kicked up. If a pitcher threw 102, it was right by you. It was basically like the O, like, you know, an OG outlier, basically. Uh, the gameplay was amazing. It was very fair. And the content was awesome. You know, the XP reward path, that was amazing. On top of the inning programs. And also, basically, you had packs to open. And you could get stubs pretty easily. And you could open all those packs and have some fun. Grind programs and have all kinds. You had a chance to get all of the good cards in the game. It was truly, truly phenomenal. And with that, I'm putting MLB The Show... 19 in S tier and the reason why I say S tier for the game it's not better it's not better than 17 or 16 but it is way better than these games down here all right I'm gonna show 20 uh don't hate this game at all I thought it was a very very solid game I'm gonna put it right here and the reason why is because it did suck because you know this was the you know this is when it was the pandemic. It was not fun to basically, it was kind of like you had like your classics and then with the show, which was nice, which was really, really fun to do. And, you know, once the season got started, they added the new cards and obviously legendary cards like that player of the month, Fernando Tatis Jr. that just got released in with the show 23. You know, that was fun to play and have some fun with. You know, with a soft spot of a cub being on the cover, I'm putting it at A. The gameplay was fine. Content was fun to play and grind, like I said. It was ultimately fun because it was kind of like you were playing the classic hits of Emblem of the Show's history in Diamond Dynasty. It was really, really fun. I believe this was when you had Prestige in the game. I could be wrong, but Prestige is in the game. I mean, some people want it back, even though I think the Parallel XP missions are a lot better than the actual Prestige missions, even though I wish PXP was a lot easier to get versus how hard it is now. I know there's not very many games on this list to rank, but ultimately, this is what we have. And we're going to show 21. This game, I feel like a lot of people get very, very mixed emotions about because of the fact that this was the first game that introduced Xbox on I'm over the show and made the game bigger and a lot more popular instead of it being just a PlayStation exclusive. Gameplay wise, it wasn't fantastic. It did have some problems and it wasn't the best overall experience. Content wise was amazing. I love the content in the game. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, but ultimately, I want the balance between good content and good gameplay when it comes to my sports video games. I know a lot of people are kind of like biting the you know bullet recently with all the MOB the show games. Um, MOB the show 21. I honestly I do think it's a very high B low A game. Um, and with that, I'm gonna put it at low. I'm gonna put it at a high B. I feel like I'm with the show 21 being at a high B is fair 
for it. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me because of the fact that MLB The Show 21 was probably a lot of people's first MLB The Shows when it comes to being an Xbox player. And a couple of bug issues that were just left alone. Uh, the freeze-offs were not fun in the game. And ultimately, the, the gameplay did kill the game a lot for me. But content-wise, it was a lot of fun to play. All right. MLB The Show 22. Holy God. Well... We can kind of imagine where this is going. Uh, it's going in D. Uh, End of the Show 22 was not fun to play. Um, I will say the one thing about End of the Show 22 is it did have a lot of fun content to grind. It just sucked that the gameplay just was really bad. They just they did not listen to the community at all with the feedback they got from End of the Show 21. And it just somehow got worse. And they just said, screw it, we're not fixing it. I don't think there was a gameplay patch at all the entire year. Hit or miss content around, you know, summertime, you know, obviously we remember that really bad Ken Griffey Jr. that they had to redeem themselves with later in the year. Uh, but ultimately, most of the stuff that they released was really fun to grind for. And it really was a lot of fun. Uh, just it really sucked that the gameplay was really, really bad. It's not worse now with show 18, but it's not better than, you know, the old games. It was it was really, really bad. And it sucks because Shohei was on the cover after his MVP season in 2021. And, well, they released one of the worst MLB The Show games since MLB The Show 18. And also, that's when they converted the game to go on the Switch. And it ultimately just it was not fun to play. It really, really was not fun to play. All right. I just, this one, this one hurts. This one really, really hurts. And with the show 23 is a lot of people are saying it's, it's, it should go down here with, uh, with with the show 18, but, uh, it's to me, to me, it goes here. It goes above 22. This is my main gripe with with the show 22 and 23 here. I'd much rather grind for the content for MLB the show 22. But I would much rather play I with the show 23, but not by much. And the reason why is because I feel like, I really feel like with 23 and especially this year, they went a little overboard with a lot of gameplay changes. And I feel like they should just take a step back. Again, go back to the simple style, like I've been saying. Like they, they just really just need to hit on that simple style with the gameplay, make it make sense. And just kind of just go back to the roots. I feel like they tried to go a little overkill. And they just need to just balance it out the best they can. And they need to not neglect all of the issues that have been problems for multiple years now. When it comes to freeze-offs. And, you know, really just doesn't make sense gameplay. And just ultimately just trying to make the game fun again. That's all I want. I just want a fun game to play. And holy crap. Can we get rid of the whole grind 99 thing? I mean, oh my gosh. Like, every MLB The Show content stream I watch, and I see them sit there on the panel. They're like, grind 99, grind 99. And it's like there's over 150 97s that they release on top of lower overalls. And then there's maybe five or six 99s they release for the new season. And it's like just... It's Grind 97 this year. It's really, really stupid. It's bad. My one thing about MLB The Show 23 that really just kills me is the content. The content's so bad. It's been really, really bad. It's so lazy. It's just, it's ridiculous. Like, let's just get rid of the, scrap the sets and seasons. Get rid of it. Go back to the basics. Just, it was a fun experiment, but just, we, we don't need it anymore. You know, they killed it season one. Season two, they took a step back. Season three, they redeem themselves again and then season four they're just like yeah here's your content it's lazy doesn't make sense another disappointing year for him over the show like i said everybody has their own opinion and let me know what your opinion is in the comments down below do you agree where i rank these games do you agree where i'm with the show 23 falls let me know your thoughts on i'm with the show 23 it's another tough year that's all i gotta say but hopefully next year we'll have some fun and as always guys Spread joy and positivity, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.